<laughs> Hello and good evening. My name is John and I'm joined by... Mitichi. <laughs> and we're here playing Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Are you excited for this? That was Poe. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, this is part of my Steam cleaning series. I've got every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and review them at the Weaver Play Time. I don't quite know what the game is, but it gives out a random. MPG, what do you think this game is? I think this is a vampire sex game. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's a vampire sex game. I mean, that's a fair guess. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying I don't think that's, <laughs> that's what this is. Okay. John Pope Poe. That's ink? What is that? Is that... It's gotta be... Uh... What do you think of a game that starts... Wait, Justin McElroy, like the McElroy Brothers? No. That can't be no. right. That can't no. be. What, what if it's the... Isn't there a Justin McElroy who's like really big the, in like the, the Canadian the version Canadian, of like, the stats person in Vancouver? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, I think that pre-roll credits for anything is, pre is presumptuous. Presumptuous. Yeah. I, uh, they're trying to set the tone. Doc Nights. That sounds like a freaking serious XM trailer for yeah, a, yeah. like a goth after hours industrial You're club. Listening to Radio August. Zoom there out. There you go. More. Oh. And Monroe. What? Oh, Cat. oh, oh, are we gonna kill her? Kill her. No. You can never find the right button, Poe. Not at all. I'm merely demonstrating that this shows the cat's meow. And on that note, what's next, Monroe? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. I'm just making it sound. This is like the worst choice. radio pro. Okay. Like, can you imagine tuning what into this? Choose? Oh, choose, choose, choose. Let me see. Uh, purse, bag, bag, bag. <laughs> I choose an early night. You'll be fine without me, won't you? You're leaving me, Monroe? Good night, Poe. What? Good night, August. Sweet dreams. Did... What? Monroe? I'm just kidding, Poe. As if I would ever leave our listeners at your mercy. The lady almost vanished, August. Perhaps I'll have to keep her on a shorter leash. What? Sit, girl, sit. I'm... Good girl. I bite. I like it. Uh, and now it's time for dreams and It's nightmares. clear that they did not record this in like together. And <laughs> With Poe Excellent and Monroe. choice, Monroe. I didn't have one really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe. But that uh, doesn't mean you can change things. Do you think anyone's listening? Of course. No. We're the only radio station in August. What? And if you're just passing through, is this how August the town, not the month? What else are people listening to? Radio one, two. They have like zero chemistry. Three, four, yeah. Each other. But I found it interesting how like they're overacting, even though they're supposed to be not. They're. Shush, Bo, you'll get tongues wagging. Indeed. I need to turn subtitles on. That wag. We have a caller. Are you ready for a dream? My whole life. What is going on? Frankie, I don't understand. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well, thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. <laughs> okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August. And wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan, Monroe. What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. Okay. A Serial killer. And yeah. The warden is weak. There's a warden. The sweet Another release of death. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry. 
It plumes its feathers, but my bird? The one that calls me? So what I don't understand. And she's caged. Monroe, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think um, we've had quite a, enough of this. Like, who cares? <laughs> don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, what do I? Frankie, we don't use our first. Oh, uh, so cloud. Dreams. And nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. And we'll be back with more dreams and nightmares later. But first, August, how about a short, dark tale to chill the nerves? So is this just intro? And we're clear. Yes. Well, that went well. Indeed, just another totally yeah. normal person calling into our show. I don't know how we attract them. I Acting! Do. How long is this story? It's just a quickie, but if you'd like it longer, there's plenty more I could queue up. I don't I still hear you. Uh, sorry, Frankie. Thank you for your dream. Thank God he told us. That could have been awkward. Very. Maybe I'll just have a. He's so dying to stare at the camera. He just really wants yeah, to stare at the camera. Yeah, just really wants to spike the camera. There it is. Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, my feet are the letter. Feet. I don't know. Now, what's the... I don't know what the story is. Are they gonna I have... I mean, clear... Off... Are they gonna have radio sex? I'm stretching. Is that allowed? <laughs> they have sex made for radio. <laughs> Close your eyes, maybe. And what if I don't? You'd have to punish me, wouldn't you, Mr. Warden? LSI. I've been very naughty. What do I click? Her chest or the microphone? Uh, microphone. There's no time. Turn on the microphone. This. Radio sex! I might hurt you. Now you're talking. Uh, I've, I've got a headache. Never mind. I was just trying to have some fun. Wait. I, I can't take it anymore. What's this? Someone Again, like our choices aren't mattering because yeah. they're just over, oh. like. I'm going to kill you. Still in the Ray. Yeah, this is definitely Why were you this from closing the diamond very quickly. Just some psychotic listener, that's all. He didn't know what was on there, and then he was like, "Yeah, cool. Remember it's this?" Just some psychotic listener. listener. Don't worry you about this it. It's a death threat. It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. People How did he know it would upset her? He didn't know what it said. Normal things, but they're just normal people. Unless he had some. Someone's looking at the door. Just now? Well, yes, but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the last few weeks. Oh, okay. Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Maybe, but never when I've looked. I I always say this. It isn't locked, Alice. You can pick your medium, and like FMV games work perfectly fine. Yeah. But I don't feel like. Oh, do I pull the door or punch her head? Punch her head. Do you have any locks? I don't think it's necessary. Paul, I have no idea what my choices are going to do. Radio is, is cursed. The cursed radio oh. is cursed by psychopaths. And if we don't raise enough money, the fundraiser, the the evil yeah. uh, uh, corporate magnate's gonna bulldoze it and build a supermarket. Yeah. It's like Empire Records, but with no chemistry. Alice, I can feel your heart racing from here. Everything will be fine. The blap. Come on. Bullet to the head. So. I'm going to kill you. Could I mean who's go, who's who is the target? I'm going to is kill it, you in is ratings. It, it, so, yeah. Like that. <laughs> How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. It's been over what three minutes. What do I click? Her, her neck or the no. note? Note. That from my wife. Oh. What? 
happy how? ask Gwendolyn. Oh my god. It's Hold on, I'm gonna... <laughs> I need to see this. Is there subtitles? What's tracker freeze? Oh, more t oh, subtitles enabled. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. A little subtitle oh, they have font size. Oh, nice. It smells like your wife. Does she know? I mean, I work late when I don't have any work to do, and I kiss her on the cheek instead of the lips. Well, maybe yes, you could kiss her on the knows. lips. Like, yeah. so those are very easy things to correct for. Yeah. Kill me. She doesn't know who. She doesn't listen to my radio show. I know. That's why I don't kiss her on the lips, because she doesn't read my fan fiction. <laughs> you see, have you ever heard of a place called AO3? I'm very big there. I love each and every one of you listeners. I'll never be a frowny face again. Good save. Wait, is she alive? Been having any more bad dreams lately, August? Okay, who's our next What listener? is going on? So they're doing some sort of like dream interpretation call in show, but put him through. Frankie, you're live with my So it's interesting because like they de definitely have makeup and the audio is you know pretty good for like the miking these people. You can carry on now. Their wardrobe is fine, nothing special. He's a little overdressed for what they're doing. It makes me But like Yeah. All that effort and like no so writing chops. No. And I listen. And I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course, there are no segues for dreams. How do you know that? The belly of the beast. Have you? So I guess he's a plant. Edmar Edgar Allan Poe. What's a Moreau? Is there a name I just know there? Like, I only know Doctor Moreau. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? Um, I'm going to kill you. Oh, that's kind of what I hit. Door. Go look at the I door. I really don't like that we have I no see. idea. Yeah. Why would you dream about wanting to kill me, Frankie? It's not a dream, John. Uh oh, you use a real name. I know. He doxed him. I don't think you are. I think you're spinning us an impish tale, Frankie. Write your little notes and dream your little dreams. What? But you're not brave enough to act Wait, on Wait, you should. This Frankie. is. This is. What are you waiting for, Frankie? We're sitting ducks. Don't worry, Monroe. He's just bluffing. Yes. I'm not hiding, Monroe. No, we don't have a set out there. <laughs> It's just the hallway of the it's... Holiday Inn. <laughs> okay, her or him? Him. Hide. Wait, why is it a Ooh. red light? They're not developing film. They're developing film. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm, I'm really confused. Know what's happening? I just know that the acting is terrible. Wait, he got the knife? Her or him? Uh, her. What? What? We're 10, 13 minutes in and we've already murdered someone. Like, I don't know why I should care about all these people. I don't know. The end. Yep. Is this? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I I kind of want there to be bad endings in some of these FMVs. You know, like yeah. they always have this thing where they get you back on track, but it seems like FMVs are really are really ripe for like, and then they died. You know, try again. Well, this is. Like a 15 minute story. I hope maybe there's like multiple stories. It said chapters at the start, right? I think so. I really wish this was a. Hello, police. <laughs> police? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, stab yourself, Poe. Mm -hmm. The end. Yes. And... and Meanwhile, at the library... So... Oh, what choice should I make? There's a choice. Are we choosing who we... I don't... It's my the wife. The choices are very opaque. Was 12. I killed the man. Died. Oh. Oh, I killed him. I, I killed my dad. And he got hit by a bus. Driven I by a monkey. I was the bus. <laughs> I was on the school bus. Yeah, okay. School bus. <laughs> it was all over very quickly, but I was at the back of the bus and I could see everything. I can see everything. He didn't move. Didn't get up. Died instantly. Does this story make you Randy? <laughs> <laughs> somehow stayed with me. The image of my father dying horribly Did by the move? school bus when I was 12 has somehow stayed with me. Men will literally start a radio show instead of going to therapy. <laughs> How many people have you stabbed at your th your radio show? Oh, is this but the really, plot? you just needed counseling. But you. So they're done with the cops already? Like it's the same day? Yeah. It's an apple or an orange. Well, I'll pick. Uh, orange. This is a game about like. Is this? Now hold it tightly in your hands. And close your eyes. Oh, they wanted us to pick Apple so it would look like Twilight. <laughs> now what? Think of your most troubling memory from this evening. Is this like some meta thing where like you're supposed to re replay through it? There. Picture it so you can see it. Okay. You have to make yourself believe that the object is there. So we can replay the whole scene with the orange in the scene? Now open your I eyes. Hope so. Throw it away. When you throw it away, it will take that memory with it. You are so overacting. Yeah, also and if it doesn't like it definitely will. Also, uh <laughs> it's weird that my wife didn't like, come to the police station for me. Yeah. Also, we're in the same recording studio. Also, so never... he just kissed her. He didn't kiss her on the lips just now. I know. He's having an affair with his mistress. Uh, He's having an her. affair with somebody else. He's Cheating on his Fear mistress. A powerful monster, August. Wait, are we... it rears my God. Its head. Okay, so the next back at... Okay, so it's the next night. Yet shreds the very fabric of reality with its claws. He has not showered. She has gotten so, dressed up. That monster came knocking at our door. Oh, it's a few nights. A few nights. So he hasn't had a shower in a few nights. We would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to everyone at the August Police Department for coming to our rescue. And on a more positive note, we've got our whole show ahead of us. What aura pleasures... You killed a dude! Yeah. Tonight, Monroe. Yeah! <laughs> I'll be making sense of Awfully chipper for... ...and nightmares. And then Poe will be showing me his... Nightmares. Oops. <laughs> Got a little excited there, Poe. That wasn't me. My hands are over here. <gasps> it's a haunted radio oh, board. Oh, no. Yeah, yes! The mixer's haunted! <laughs> Apparently so. Or we have a ghost in the machine. Super analogy. What? Listeners, uh, we are experiencing their power. Their power is out. Difficulties here in the studio. Yeah. If you can still hear us, please let us know. They're not going to be able to like. I think we're. The power's room. out. Like okay. Phones here somewhere. Did you pay the electricity bill, Alice? Wait, they paid the electricity bill for their radio studio. I guess so. Wait, they have power? John? There's nobody here. We'll kill again if we must. Yes. 
Man, remember we made a choice like five minutes ago that was just clicking yeah, on her? That was an orange. So they have just you and me. So they have power. I guess I'm just a little jumpy. Remember when we murdered a man three nights ago? Yes. Have nothing to fear when Poe is here. Except for the occasional knife wielding stalker. <laughs> oh, our banter has such versatility. I told you, Alice. I'd never let anyone. He had the knife. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get us back on the air. And we're back. Did you miss us? No. Next time. Wait, what? Dark nights with Poe and Monroe. Our funding is running out, isn't it? Months ago. How do we pay it back? A radiothon. In bed with Poe and Monroe. Lurkers. What? If you're out there just lurking, then give us a sign. It's Millicent. Once upon a midnight dreary. What? We can oh. Yep, there's the there's the Edgar Allan Poe. What do, the fuck? <laughs> do, do we, are we, I don't understand what this is. Do we play a second <laughs> chapter? Okay. Oh God. All right. So these are like, okay. So the next episode is, is the, all right. Chose cat. Oh, I could have not chose, I guess. Did so the they're showing us who player percentages, yeah. Like, yeah, what our percentage is, so I I I'm not in I I'm not engaged with the story, but it's so weird. Do we it's want like weird. do we want another I... twenty minutes of this? It's like I I'm, I'm okay either way. I don't know, man. Like I, I feel like I feel like I don't understand what the choices mean. I'm all yeah. for having a little bit of ambiguity in your choices. Um, you know, I think I, that there are, there are a handful of things that you want really clearly flagged. And then like, what's going to happen? Yeah. yeah. We're kind of just guessing. I, like I, if we, uh, unfortunately I lost the, um, we lost the, 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 the screen there, but like you chose this and like, I did, did I? Covering up the murder, yeah. that that's what I chose. I had no idea. You know. Yeah. Like I don't I don't know what we're doing. What sort of like and, and I really have the suspicion that our choices don't matter. Don't matter. Because it does seem like a very railroady. Yeah, trying to get back on their golden path. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so I think there is something to be said for like they're they are giving you this sort of illusion of choice. Well, this has been to have some kind of interaction. This has been Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe, which is, I, when it comes to FMV games, like being overacted, active, acted is not like a, a, a bad thing altogether. But like, I think you nailed it there. Like, I don't know what choices I'm making. Therefore, I don't feel engaged in, in the story because yeah. it's like, well, A, if I'm watching this straight, if there's not enough cuts, then the then the cheesiness yeah. doesn't work. But if I'm able to put push all the buttons and make people like, dance like silly puppets that I'm more engaged because we get to have control. And without right. that, it just doesn't doesn't click. All yeah. right, Poe. All right, Monroe, if those are your real names. <laughs> Cheers. John and Ellis. John and Ellis. Cheers. <laughs>